Hi you guys, it's Jen. So I just took a shower and washed my face and wore my skincare. I'm not using any makeup right now but I'm just using my lipstick because I will look really pale without it. I'm having my menstrual cycle right now. So I'm having some blemishes and I got an acne but I already pop it out and use the Gozarex pimple patch and it has lessened in its appearance. This is the long-awaited video for acne treatments. I will discuss about the acne treatments out there that you can buy in the drugstore and skincare products. So without further ado, I will explain the ingredient that you should find on your skincare routine. I already told you about the 5 ways of acne care. I would recommend that you guys find the products or use the products that will also act on all five. Each acne treatment out there will act on the five steps. So number one is to normalize your skin curtainization or exfoliation. You can achieve this by using retinoids which is a derivative of vitamin A. The first line ingredient for retinoids is the Tretinoin. It is really good as it has the superior ability to reduce and prevent the formation of comedones which will lead to acne formation later on. And it can also make the penetration of antibiotics if you are using topical antibiotics to penetrate deeply and faster. So it is a plus. However, retinoids is teratogenic which means that if you are pregnant, don't use it. So a lot of acne products out there can be bad or it shouldn't be used by a pregnant woman. So you may want to look up on it and go to a dermatologist to get it treated. Retinoid is a really good ingredient as it is the only ingredient clinically and scientifically known to repair the DNA in your cell. It really rewinds the skin clock and can be a really good anti-aging ingredient and it actually acts on a lot of the five ways of or the five steps of acne care that I've told you about but what this ingredient does it also increases the skin cell turnover so you may also experience purging thus if you are already having an acne breakout I would recommend you guys to not use this product but you can use niacinamide instead Niacinamide is a really really good ingredient as it repairs the skin. Number two is to eliminate or reduce the bacteria that is causing the inflamed acne. You can use this by using antibiotics, the topical ones or the oral ones as antibiotics can kill the bacteria statically or directly. But antibiotics are prescribed by dermatologists and doctors so I won't discuss more on that since I'm discussing about products that you can buy out there over the counter and that are present in skincare products. You can use benzoyl peroxide, sulfur, or there's also light therapy such as lasers that you can find in clinics these days. Benzoyl peroxide is really good when combined with the antibacterials or the antibiotics but you can also use them on its own and it's topical usually it is liquid I, I don't have them right now. Benzoyl peroxide kills bacteria by producing reactive oxygen species in the sebaceous follicle. So the downside of it, because it causes free radical formation, is that it can cause skin aging. So don't use benzoyl peroxide in the long run as your method to prevent acne. While sulfur and sodium sulfacetamide acts as an antibacterial agent too, and it can also be keratolytic. Number three is to remove the materials that can clog your pores, which means that it should be comedolytic to loosen all your skin cells, which is the keratinocytes, and unclog the pores. You can use BHA, which is an exfoliant that goes deeply into the pores, and HA2, and you can also extract the comedones yourself or go for a facial. If you haven't watched the HA BHA video in the talking about exfoliation, go for it because it'll help you guys to treat your acne and to prevent acne formation. BHA is more effective to reduce the comedones than HA as BHA is oil 
soluble and it goes deep within the pores to remove it while HA just acts on the surface but you can use them together since they are a really good product together Number 4 is to attack your inflammatory response so use anti-inflammatory products when you are having inflamed acne or acne breakouts since when you are having acne breakouts, you want to calm down all those acne so that it will appear less blemish. The products that are effective in step 4 is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is really good for people who are acne prone as it acts as an antibacterial and also anti-inflammatory. So it prevents and it also calms your zit. You can find them in acne wash, lotion, gels, they are everywhere. For you guys to buy they are also present in mask and you can also buy peeling agents BHA peels if your acne is very severe dosistic or nodulistic acne you can go to a doctor or dermatologist to get an oral treatment or an injection because they are usually unresponsive to products over the counter and your skincare. Other inflammatory agents out there you can find are aloe vera, chamomile, green tea, licorice. Niacinamide is also anti inflammatory, so it's also good. And so you can search for those ingredients. I will list them there. Number five is to decrease the sebum production. This can only be achieved by retinoids and hormonal agents such as oral contraceptive if you are a female. Sebum production is controlled by hormones as I mentioned in the last video too. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Another ingredient is also niacinamide. It can regulate the oil production in your skin. That is why niacinamide is also a really good ingredient for oily skin to combination skin out there. I'm also using it. After knowing the five steps and each ingredient that you can use on those five steps and five ways, what are the recommendations? If you are having a severe acne or cystic nodule acne, you may want to go to a dermatologist to get it treated. Maybe they can inject steroids to calm down those big acne nodules and cysts since those kind of acne will lead to a bad scar. It's best to get it treated with a dermatologist. They may also give you an oral treatment to really calm down those breakouts that you are having. You may also need to use oral isotretinoin, which is really good to calm down those severe acne. First thing that you will want to know is what your skincare routine or regimen should look like. First is cleanser. Of course, you need to cleanse your face every day. Please use a facial cleanser. Don't use your body wash for your face since from my previous skincare surveys, some of you guys are not using facial cleanser even. And it strips off all the good oils and is there to protect your skin barriers. So body wash is a no-no. Buy a facial wash that fits your skin. If you have a dry skin, use a gentle cleanser that doesn't make your face feel so stripped out of all the oils. Find a cleanser that can also treat your acne. For example, a cleanser that has salicylic acid on it or has AHA. You want to have patience when you are using acne products or treatments because most acne products and skincare products out there just prevent the formation of acne. It can calm acne if you are using the anti-inflammatory ingredients but it won't remove the acne directly so it really depends on the skin turnover Number two, toners. Acne prone skin is very susceptible to breakouts. You may want to use toner since it ensures that every last bit of dirt and oil is being removed is a smart move. Toners are not a mandatory and is not that essential, but using it is really helpful and it's worth all the extra seconds to use the toners. I don't really use toners before, but after using it, I really love it. It helps to maintain your skin pH level on its optimal pH so that 
the products that you use later on after the toner will be absorbed more and it helps to prepare the skin for the products out there also remove extra dirt and hydrates the skin and it can also act as an exfoliator so it's great to use toners maybe I will make a video on toners later on so maybe you can wait for it find a toner which has HA or BHA which are exfoliants or niacinamide that is really good to prevent acne breakouts and in this step Instead of a toner, you can also use a topical agent such as the benzoyl peroxide. Number three is treatment, which uh, should also moisturize your skin since if you don't moisturize your skin and your skin is dry, it will also cause breakouts. So it's important that you incorporate moisturizer as your treatment step. And then also incorporate an ingredient or some ingredients that can prevent the acne breakouts or calm down those pimples that are already inflamed. For treatment, you may want to search for moisturizers with retinoids, niacinamide, or salicylic acid that treats your acne too. If your face is very oily, you may skip the moisturizing agent if you are having acne breakouts or you want to search moisturizers that are lotion or gel, not a cream, as creams are more oily. Number four is sunscreen, which is really, 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 really important. Please use sunscreen every day, whether you stay in or out, as UVA, UVB is everywhere, and it can penetrate the glass through your roof and also damage your skin. So it doesn't matter whether you're inside the house, you should use sunscreen in early in the morning. Please use sunscreen. Another tip is to use makeup with salicylic acid since a lot of makeup out there may also have acne treatments. You may want to also use skin peels such as the BHA skin peels or mask with salicylic acid. I would recommend you guys not to use them every day as it can also irritate your skin if you are using too much treatments. So you may want to use them every three days or once a week and so on. Thank you for listening you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and then comment on what you think about the video and what I could discuss further. Thank you.